Hello students, uh, myself Ashish Chawla and uh, today we discuss about the volume of cylinder. Cylinder of radius R and height H. Uh, the volume of cylinder is defined as area of base area of base into height. So here the base in, is in the shape of a circle. So the area of base is pi r square and height is h. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. This is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. Now uh, we talk about the volume of a hollow cylinder. Volume of hollow cylinder. Now first we draw the diagram of a hollow cylinder. Let's say this is the this is the shape of a hollow cylinder. The examples of hollow cylinders are pipes, etc. There are two types of radius in it. One is the internal radius. Let's say this is this is the internal radius R. The external radius capital R. Now the difference between the capital R and the small r that is this difference. This is the thickness of the material used to make the hollow cylinder. Now so from this figure we can say that capital R is equal to the internal radius plus the width of the material used. W represents the width of the material used. And the height of the cylinder is again h. This internal cylinder is hollow. There is nothing inside it. It is empty. Now we have to find the volume of this hollow cylinder. So the again volume is defined as area of base into height. Now when we look it from the top side or let's say at the bottom side the base is in the shape of a ring. The base is in the shape of a ring. So this part is hollow. We have to find the, this area. That is our area of base. So that is nothing but let's say this is capital R and this is small r. So the area of this shaded portion is pi capital R square minus small r square. So the area of base is pi capital R square minus small r square. This is your area of base multiplied by height that is h. So the volume of hollow cylinder is pi h bracket r square minus small r square. So this is the volume of a hollow cylinder. Now we do the problems based on this. Now the first question is the radius of a cylinder is the radius of cylinder is 14 centimeter and height 10 centimeter. Find its volume. Find its volume. So the radius of the cylinder is given to us that is 14 centimeter and the height is given to us that is 10 centimeter. 
and we have to find the volume. The formula for the volume of cylinder is pi r square h. The value of pi is 22 upon 7. R means that is 14. R square that is 14 into 14. H is 10. Now 7 and 14 are get cancelled 2 times. So 22 into 2 that is 44. And 44 and 14 into 10 that is 140. Now we multiply 44 into 140. We get 6160. And the unit is centimeter cubic. So the volume of a cylinder is 6160 centimeter cubic. That is 6160 centimeter cubic. Now we will do the next question. The circumference, the circumference of base of the cylinder. Cylinder, cylinder vessel is one thirty two centimeter and height twenty five centimeter. So, how much water it can hold? How much water? it can hold. Now what is given to us? The circumference of the base of a cylinder and we know that the, uh, the base of the cylinder is in the shape of a circle. So the circumference of the base is nothing but 2 pi r which is given to us that is 132 and the height is also given to us that is the height is 25 centimeter. Now on solving this, we get r is equals to 132 divided by 2 pi. Now we are putting the values of pi that is 132 to the value of pi is 22 upon 7. 7 is coming on the upside. So 2 into 22 that is 44 and 7 is shifted to the numerator side. Now on solving this, now 144 is considered with 11 that is 4 times and 132 11 that is 1 and 2 12 times and 4 and 12 are cancelled with 3 times so so radius is 21 centimeter so the radius of the cylinder is 21 centimeter now we talk about the volume the volume is given as pi r square h. The value of pi is 22 upon 7 and the radius is 21. So 21 into 21. The value of h is 25. Now, so 7 and 21 are get cancelled 3 times. So 22 into 3 that is 66 into 21 into 25. Now on multiplying these three we get on multiplying these three we get thirty four thousand six hundred fifty thirty four thousand six hundred fifty and the unit is centimeter cubic. Now and we know that and we know that in one liter there is thousand centimeter cubic. So now in order to convert this centimeter cubic into liter we have to divide it by 1000. So 34650 divided by 1000. So this is converted into liter. So the answer is 34.65 liter. So the amount of water that it can hold is 34.65. Now we move to the next question. 66 centimeter cubic of silver wire is drawn into a wire 1 millimeter in diameter 1 millimeter in diameter find 
the find the length of the wire now let's see let's say we have a silver so this is a silver its volume is 66 centimeter cubic now this silver is converted into a wire wire is nothing in the shape of a cylinder its diameter is given to us that is 1 millimeter so its radius is diameter divided by 2 so 1 by 2 mm now let's convert it into centimeter so 1 by 2 20 centimeter now so the length of this cylinder is let's say or the wire is L the length of this wire or cylinder is let's say L centimeter now what we are doing we are converting this silver into a cylindrical wire now so the volumes remain same so as we are converting this silver into a wire so the volumes remain the same so the volume of the silver is equal to the volume of this wire so that is nothing in the shape of a cylinder so its volume is pi r square h that is l length of the cylinder so the volume is 66 centimeter cubic the value of pi is 22 upon 7 the value of r is 1 by 20 into 1 by 20 into L. Now, this is length of the wire. Now, of L is equals to 66, 7, 20, 20 are come on the numerator side after cross multiplying and 22 is on the downside. So, 66 and 22 are cancelled with 3 times. Now, 7 into 3 that is 21, 21 into 2 that is 42. And 42 into 2 that is 84. So the answer is 84 and the two zeros. So 8400 centimeter. Now if we want to convert into meter divided by 100, so it is 84 meter. So the length of the wire is 84 meter. Now we move to the next question. Total surface area of cylinder the total surface area of a cylinder is 231 centimeter square and curved surface area is two third of total surface area then find volume of cylinder find volume of cylinder so it is given that the curved surface area is two third of the total surface area the total surface area is given to us that is 231 now after cancelling 7 77 so 2 into 77 that is 154 and the unit is centimeter square. So the curved surface area is 154 centimeters square. Now, uh, from this statement, we can say that curved surface area upon total surface area, after shifting total surface area to the left hand side, we can say that curved surface area upon total surface area is equal to 2 by 3. Now the curved surface area we know that 2 pi rh and the total surface area formula is 2 pi r bracket h plus r which is equals to 2 by 3 now cancelling common terms 2 pi r 2 pi r get cancelled so we left with h upon h plus r which is equals to 2 by 3 now after cross multiplying we get 3h is equals to twice of h plus twice of r 3 multiplied by h that is 3h twice multiplied by h plus r we getting twice of h plus twice of r now thrice of h minus twice of h is equals to 2r 3h minus 2h that is h is equals to 2r so the height is twice of radius now as it is given in the question that is covered surface area is 
2 pi rh which is equal to 154. Now in this I put instead of h I put 2r because h is equal to 2r equals to 154. So 2 into 2 4 pi r into r we getting r square which is equals to 154. So so r square is equals to 154 divided by 4 pi. Now I putting the value of pi. So the value of pi is 22 upon 7. 22 and 7 is coming on the numerator side. Now uh, I cancel 154 and 22 by 11 two times. That is 1 and 4, 14. Now again 2 is cancelled with 14 that is 7 so we are getting 49 by 4 so the r square is 49 by 4 it means r is equals to 7 by 2 the value of r is 7 by 2 now and we know that h is equals to 2r so the h is equals to twice into 7 by 2 so it is equals to 7 centimeter so the value of h is 7 centimeter now we have to find the volume. So the volume is given as pi r square h. The value of pi is 22 upon 7. The r is that is 7 by 2 and the h is 7. So 7 and 7 are get cancelled and 2 and 22 are get cancelled 11 times. So what we left, so 11 into 7 into 7 that is 49 divided by 2. So 11 into 49 by 2, so 11 into 49 that is 5, 39 divided by 2 and we are getting 5, 39 by 2 we are getting 2, 69.5 centimeter cubic. So this is the answer. So the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. So the volume is 269.5 cm cubic. Now we move to the next question. The next question is a well with 10 decimeter inside diameter is dug. 28 decimeter deep earth taken out of it is, is spread all around it all around all around to a width to a width of 5 decimeter to form an embankment then we have to find the height of embankment we have to find the height of the embankment now start with the problem so let's say this is a ground level. Now in this ground we are dugging a well which is 10 decimeter in diameter. Let's say this is a well. So its radius is 10 by 2 that is 5 decimeter. We are dugging this well to a depth of to a depth of 28 decimeter so its height is 28 decimeter now the earth taken out from this well is spread all around it the earth taken out from this is spread all around it so so the earth taken out from it is spread all around it so let's say this is the 
we are spreading the earth taken from the this cylinder is spread all around it so this is an embankment now so the level of this embankment is rises let's say up to a up to a height of let's say h h dash that is the height of this embankment is h dash now the width the width of the embankment this width is given to us that is width is given to us that is 5 decimeter so so this embankment is nothing uh, but a hollow cylinder whose internal radius is equal to 5 decimeter and its external radius capital R the capital R is equal to small r plus width that is internal radius that is 5 plus width is 5 so the capital R is 10 decimeter now as it is given that the earth taken out from this well so the earth taken out from well which is nothing but the volume of cylinder so which is equals to pi r square h now putting the values the value of pi that is 22 upon 7 sorry and the r is that is 5 square into h the h is 28 so this much volume of earth is taken out so much centimeter cubic now with this earth we are forming this hollow cylinder we are forming this hollow cylinder so the the volume of embankment which is in the shape of a hollow cylinder is equal to the volume of hollow cylinder the volume of the hollow cylinder we know that that is pi h bracket pi h dash let's say this height is h dash r capital r square minus small r square now we are putting the values the pi value is 22.7 and h dash is simply h dash r square minus r square capital r square minus small r square that is 10 square minus 5 square so it can be written as 22 upon 7 h dash that is a square minus b square that can be written as a plus b into a minus b that is 10 plus 5 15 and 10 minus 5 that is 5 so much centimeter cubic so this hollow cylinder is made with the help of this cylinder so their volumes are same so now we are equating these two equations let's say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 so by equating equation 1 and 2 we are getting that is 22 upon 7 into 5 square that is 25 into 28 is equals to 22 upon 7 h dash 15 into 5 now cancel all the common terms 22 by 7 22 by 7 now 5 is cancelled with 25 5 times now this 5 is cancelled with 15 that is 3 times now the h dash is equals to 28 into 7 divided by 3 sorry this 7 is not come because it is already cancelled so h dash is 28 divided by 3 decimeter so the height of the embankment is 28 by 3 decimeter now we move to the next question a cylindrical tank a cylindrical tank of radius of radius 7 cm having height having height 20 cm 
is half filled is half filled with water find find the level of water raised water raised when when a cube of side 7 cm immersed in it so what we have given we have given a cube let's say this is a cube of side 7 let's say a is equal to 7 now we have a cylinder this cylinder having a radius 7 Seven and it is half filled with water, having a height, having a height, twenty centimeter. Now it is half filled. So up to this level, it is filled. So that is ten centimeter. It is filled to a height of ten centimeter. Now, now when we are immersing this cube in the cylinder. when we are immersing this cube in this cylinder let's say this cube is come at this position now the uh, the space occupied by the water in this is now is occupied by the cube now the water will come the level of the water get rises because of the immersing of this cube so the let the water level is come here up to this level so this is the rise in the level of the water let's say the rise in the water level is denoted by h dash now this portion this portion is created due to the immersing of this cube so we can say that the volume of this portion is nothing but the volume of cube so the volume of cube is equals to a cube now this volume of cube this space the volume of this space is nothing but volume of the cylindrical part that is equals to pi r square h dash this portion is nothing but in the shape of a cylinder having radius r and the height is h dash so these two are equal now equating these two equations a cube is equals to pi r square h dash now we have to find h dash so h dash is equals to a cube divided by pi r square the value of a is 7 7 cube that is 7 into 7 into 7 the value of pi is 22 upon 7 the so 7 is coming on the upside the r is 7 so 7 into 7 now cancel all the common terms two sevens are get cancelled so we left with 49 by 22 Centimeter. So the increase in the height is forty-nine by twenty-two centimeter. Now we move to the next question. Water is flowing at the rate fifteen kilometer per hour through a pipe. Through a pipe of diameter fourteen centimeter into into a rectangular tank into a rectangular tank which is which is fifty meter long. And forty-four meter wide. Find time in which find time in which level of water 
rises by 21 cm so in this question we have given a pipe that the pipe is in the shape of a cylinder this is the pipe through which the water is flowing now its diameter is given to us so its radius is this radius is diameter divided by 2 that is 7 cm now the water is flowing through this pipe with a speed of 15 km per hour now the water flow through this pipe is at the rate of 15 km per hour into a rectangular tank let's say this is a tank which is 50 meter long its length is 50 meter and it is 40 me 44 meter wide that is breadth is 44 meter wide uh, now the water is flowing through some time period during this time period the level of the water in this rectangular tank is rises up to 21 centimeter so its height is 21 centimeter or you can say 21 upon 100 meter now so we have to find the time we have to find the time for which the water is flowing so that the level of the so that the level of the water in the tank is 21 centimeter now first of all the volume of water flow through pipe you have to find out let's say uh, the wa water is flow through this pipe for the t hours so that the height becomes 21 in this rectangular time that's the time is t hours for which the water is flowing so the volume of water flow through this pipe during t hours is defined as area of cross section area of cross section into velocity into time so so much amount of water is flow through this pipe so the area of cross section that is the cross section of this cylindrical pipe is nothing but a circle cross section is nothing but a circle that is pi r square that is area of cross section so the area of cross section is pi r square into velocity into time now we put the values the pi is 22 upon 7 the r is now as r is in centimeter now we convert all the units in meter so 7 centimeter can be written as 7 by 100 meter so it's square so 7 by 100 two times now the velocity <coughs> velocity is given in kilometer per hour so again we convert this kilometer into meters so we write 15,000 meter per hour the word is velocity and the time is already in hours now we write all the units in meter and in hours only so 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 much as all the units are in meter now so so much meter cubic of water flow through the pipe so this water flow through this pipe is stored in the rectangular tank so the volume of rectangular tank is equals to the volume of the cuboid that is LVH that is 50 into 44 into 21 by 100 meter cubic so the volume of water flow through the pipe is equals to the volume of the water stored in a rectangular tank now we are equating these two equations so this is first equation and this is our second equation from equation 1 and 2 we can say that 22 by 7 
सेवन बाय हंड्रेड सेवन बाय हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सॉरी इंटू टी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी इंटू फोर्टी फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी वन बाय हंड्रेड नाउ वी आर कैंसिलिंग ऑल द कॉमन टर्म्स नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड आर गेट कैंसल दिस हंड्रेड इज कैंसल विद दिस हंड्रेड नाउ दिस सेवन is cancelled with this 7 now 22 is cancelled with 44 two times now 50 into 2 that is 100 50 into 2 that is 100 is cancelled with these two zeros now 7 and 21 is get cancelled three times so now the time is so the time is equals to Three multiplied by hundred divided by one fifty. So that is equal to three hundred divided by one fifty. That is equal to two. So two hours are required. So the required time is two hours. Two hours is required to fill this rectangular tank to a height of twenty one centimeter. Thank you.